I've been excited about this team since last year. Um, uh, I, I saw the possibilities uh, because we had a bunch of these guys in practice, even though they didn't play in games last year. So um, I, I had a feel for for what it can be. Uh, we we've had uh, I can't remember. It might be the first summer where our roster was intact, where I wasn't running around trying to recruit somebody uh, for a scholarship. Uh, our roster was intact all summer. Uh, the uh, we 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 uh, we had great leadership on our team last year, which you know, I remember calling a timeout. Not calling a timeout. There was a play late in the game last year, and me asking Hassani, like, "How's it feel?" And he's trying to get me to tell him what play to run. And I said, "No, no, no, forget the play. How does it feel?" And he said, "What are you talking about?" I said, "How does it feel to finally listen and be a good teammate?" and good things happen for you as a player. And he just started laughing. And he went and called his own play. I didn't tell him what to call, and he called the right thing, and it worked. And um, it's uh, because of all that growth between him, Chris, and even Trey Campbell as he the season went on, uh, all those young kids learned from them, and they, they've been great this year. So uh, does that mean we're going to win any games? i got no idea, but I know I'm excited when I go to practice every day. Frank, uh, going on into your eighth season now, have you been as excited about any other team as you are about this one going into it? Yeah, I'm always excited, Dave. I don't, I don't go into seasons concerned with the warts. It goes back to what I'm about. I don't worry about what I don't have. I worry about what I do have. And uh, I, don't, I don't get more or less excited. Uh, I just think that this team has the possibilities of growing. The, the ceiling for growth is – is, is uh, there's a lot of room there uh, before we can even see the ceiling. And, um, and uh, so uh, the, the excitement, the enthusiasm for me never changes. It doesn't change. I don't care what the situation. My first year here, I knew we had some limitations as a team, uh, but I was excited to, to get out there and see growth. I, my, my enthusiasm is always for growth. It's not for wins and losses. And, and uh, so, uh, I'm 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 revved up and ready to go. And because I didn't have to, and this is the truth about the business, I didn't have to exert countless hours of travel and energy on our roster in the summer. I, I, I'm actually well rested right now. Uh, so, uh, and I'm sleeping better. I, seriously, I've I've, uh, I've been battling a real bad shoulder, and it was hard to sleep for the last couple of years. And and I'm sleeping better. Uh, so. It's, I don't know if that's good or bad for our players, but I'm well rested right now. Frank, I guess what were conversations like with Mike coming out of last year, and what have you seen from him through the first couple of weeks on court stuff that makes you feel he'll take another step forward? Yeah, yeah. Mike, Mike didn't handle, um, you know, the last two years have been the opposite of Mike. He didn't handle the, the, the beginning of his sophomore year great, but I thought he played better as the year went on. And then his junior year, he was playing pretty good early, and then he just went in the tank. And uh, Mike, Mike's biggest obstacle is self-confidence. And, and uh, I, I never figured that one out his freshman year because he didn't have a lot of responsibility his freshman year. And you don't really find out about people, how they manage stuff, until they have a lot of responsibility. There's a reason why the person who makes copies makes a lot less money than the CEO of the company. There's a reason why the department head makes a lot less money than the principal at a school building. Um, you know, it's uh, how you handle responsibility determines what you're capable of doing. And 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 you know, and I didn't understand that with Mike his freshman year because he didn't have a lot of responsibility. I've tried to figure that out the last two years, and he's in a much better place. He's actually, uh, I, I'm not going to say it because I know what I'm, I'm going to jinx myself and our team, um, but he's doing some things on the court that he's never done since he's been here, and and that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I I, I want it's very Mike has been a, a an unbelievable young man to coach. He's been an incredible representative of our program, uh, who he is, 
every day in that practice, in the community, in the classroom, uh, the times you guys have interviewed him, his, his, the way he, he speaks, uh, he deserves to have a real good senior year. And, and I'm excited uh, to help him so it can be the best that it can possibly be.